I just got my Google Analytics certification. Today, I'm breaking down everything that's involved in the Google Analytics individual qualification exam and who should take the time to get certified. Welcome, I'm Jen. What is Google Analytics? It's an online platform for you to aggregate and analyze connected data from websites and other connected systems. It's a great tool to create dashboards using this type of data that you can use for yourself or share with many other people. Let's talk a little bit about how Google Analytics works and then we'll talk about what it takes to really learn that tool. Google Analytics works on websites by installing a small piece of tracking code within the website. This way you can track the different actions taken by your users based on operating systems, country, language, the time they spend on the website, and different actions that you want to track to achieve different goals that your business wants to accomplish. This data is all collected anonymously from users and then processed and sent over into the Google Analytics application. Once Analytics processes the data that's been sent over, it's stored in a database that can't be changed. So it's critical that you include every piece of information you may want to consider in the future so you have it at your disposal when you want to go back and do your analysis afterwards. How long does it take to learn Google Analytics? I found you can be really familiar with the application in about a half a day of effort. While there are dozens, if not hundreds of different settings to choose from in analytics, the basic premise of how you apply each of them and look at different pieces is all the same. So once you learn the process, you can go in and fiddle with different filters or views, different dimensions and sources of how you want to look at your data. As a data analyst myself, I found that those skills came somewhat in handy when learning Google Analytics but they didn't give me a huge advantage. Google Analytics individual qualification is really focused around how the analytics application works. And so having that analytics knowledge in general can be a little helpful, but so many of the questions on the exam are really specific to the terms used in the Google Analytics application and the exact flow of how they set things up in their tool. Why get certified at all in Google Analytics? I know I just mentioned that having that analytics background doesn't necessarily give me an advantage in taking the Google Analytics exam. However, when you go through some of the training resources that are available to learn about Google Analytics, you do learn a lot about data analytics, especially when it comes to marketing and segmenting your data. As a free application to get certified in and even to learn about if you use the resources provided by Google, it's a great way to build analytic skills that only cost you your time. Additionally, if you run a personal website or work in marketing analytics or perhaps work for a small business that's just getting started with marketing themselves online, having this Google analytics knowledge can really give you a prime advantage. I've been mentioning the Google Analytics individual qualification exam. There's also Google Analytics partners. So what's the difference between taking the individual qualification and becoming a Google Analytics certified partner? The main difference is people get individual qualifications and companies or organizations get partners. A Google Analytics certified partner is an organization that specializes normally in marketing and has at least five people full-time on their team that works primarily with the Google applications around analytics and AdWords, as well as some of the other products. They do make some exceptions for smaller companies, but in general, think of partnerships as people that have an expertise that show that they've been able to work with the applications in the past and get tangible results for customers and have a large staff. So as an individual, you'll take the individual qualification. Now that we've talked about what Google Analytics is and why you should consider getting certified, let's talk about what that certification actually involves. Certification isn't very difficult, but it does require passing a test. There's an hour long test to take, answering a variety of multiple choice questions about your Google Analytics knowledge. You have to score at least an 80% on this test to get your certification. 
The great thing is if you take the test and you find out you didn't do as well as you had hoped, you can take it again 24 hours later and you can keep repeating that till you pass the test. Then to retain your certification, you'll need to retake the test once every 12 months. I mentioned earlier that the certification test is really specific to Google Analytics. I figured before I tried any of the training, I would take the test just to see how well I did with a basic data analytics knowledge. And on my first shot, I got a 70%. So I didn't quite pass, but I was able to use the knowledge that I have of analytics and workflow within data to score fairly well on the exam. After I took that test, I knew I needed to learn more. There are two courses that Google offers and recommends related to analytics. Google Analytics for Beginner and Advanced Google Analytics. Each of these will take about an hour for you to learn. Google Analytics for Beginners is exactly what it sounds like. It introduces you to the application and the interface so you can get familiar with it. It shows how to add data from a particular website and how to set up some basic views and filters on that data. In this course, you'll also learn how to do some of the basic analytics, looking at where your users are coming from and how long they're spending on your website. You'll get into the basics of how Google Analytics goals work and see that workflow. They'll also introduce you to how campaign tracking works within the Google Analytics application, which is especially useful if you're also using Google Ads. Advanced Google Analytics takes what you've learned in the beginner course and builds off of it. So it gets into a lot of the details of setting up different campaigns and goals within Google Analytics so that you can analyze them deeper. It moves beyond the standard offerings in the interface and talks about how to set up custom reports and custom dimensions, custom sources of information within the analysis tool. In advanced Google Analytics, you'll also learn a lot more about segmenting your data more minutely and how to retarget audiences. You'll learn marketing strategies like remarketing and dynamic remarketing that lets you show custom ads based on segments of your users. I personally found the information in Google Analytics for beginners to be a good overview and also not very surprising. Most of it was pretty intuitive. And I think those are the questions that when I took the quiz the first time, I probably got right. The information that was harder to make assumptions and guesses about on my own was the information contained in the advanced Google Analytics course, which sort of makes sense because here we're getting beyond the basic installation of the application and we're really talking about how do you personalize Google Analytics for yourself or your business and really take it beyond just being a reporting tool to something that you take action on and makes a substantial difference in the way that you're operating your business. What if you want to take this training but you don't have a Google Analytics account? The great thing about this is they will set up an account for you when you're running the training and give you access to a test area of data to work with. As long as you have a Google account, Google's going to go ahead and set up a test area in the analytics tool for you to use linked to your Google account. This will run you through the demos, which in some of the training, it will take you directly into the application and walk you through the demos with different prompts. So you can see in the application and actually click around and work with that. It also lets you go back and try out different things in that test area outside of the training. I highly recommend taking the Google Analytics certification and the training courses that they offer to learn more about analytics and especially marketing analytics. If you're looking for other resources to build analytics skills and build an analytics related career, whether that's as a marketing analyst or doing analytics work for a small business, check out my book, How to Become a Data Analyst. I'll link it in the description box below. That book describes all of the different skills that you need to become an analyst how to build those skills and how to find a great analytics job that fits your experience, your background and your interests. Thanks so much for watching.